this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare two super lightweight mice, the Razer Viper V2 Pro and the Logitech G Pro X Super Lite. Both seen here in white and both also available in black, although it's worth knowing that the black version of the V2 Pro is actually marginally different in terms of weight. I've reviewed and unboxed both these mice separately, and I've also compared them with others, so I'll link to those videos in the description. But in this one, I want to talk to you about the differences between them and show what they're like side by side. At the end of the video, I'll also be doing a sound test so you can hear the differences between the switches. And switches is obviously one of the big differences because the Logitech G Pro X Superlite uses Omron switches, whereas the Razer Viper V2 uses Razer's optical switches, and that's the third generation of optical switches guaranteed up to 90 million clicks. The Razer Viper V2 Pro also looks remarkably similar to the Superlight when you put them side by side. You'll notice, for example, simple things like the mouse wheel is both black in the middle and white on the outside. They also have a very similar setup in terms of having two side buttons and a very high DPI sensor. So the Superlight, for example, goes all the way up to 25,600, where the Hero sensor, whereas the Viper V Pro 2 goes up to 30,000 with a 30K optical sensor from Razer. So they're both comparable in those, although the Razer Viper V2 Pro has more specs packed inside it. It packs up to 750 max IPS, 70 Gs acceleration, and a number of AI features designed to help it be more robust in terms of the accuracy and the response that it gives you and to also be more power efficient. The Razer Viper V2 Pro is capable of 80 hours of battery life whereas the Superlight 70 but you'll see they're both interesting and they're both nice looking mice, they're both understated, they both have a good response in terms of the connectivity with 2.4 gigahertz wireless and also reactive and great to game with. The G Pro X Superlite is much loved and highly thought of by many so it's my opinion that what Razer's done here is they've tried to take the Viper which is one of their popular mice anyway and to shed the weight by dropping side buttons and other features like chroma RGB and other things in order to make it be very similar to the G Pro X Superlite. They did something similar, they copied the G502 Lightspeed with the Razer Basilisk Ultimate and I think they've attempted to do it again. And when you put the two white versions of these mice side by side and just look at them, you'll see that they do look very similar. Obviously, the shape is ever so slightly different. The specs under the hood is ever so slightly different as well. And I'll include all that in the description. And yes, the Viper V2 Pro does have optical switches instead of those classic mechanical switches. So it's theoretically going to last longer and be superior over time. However, I have had no problems with my G Pro X Superlite and it is my main mouse when I'm not using anything else, or at least it has been for the majority of the time. And therefore, I haven't had any problems with double clicking issues, although Razer claims that you should experience none thanks to its optical switches. It has zero double clicking issues and no debounce delay either. And it's guaranteed up to 90 million clicks. So in terms of the guarantee, it should last longer. However, they are both wonderful mice for a number of different reasons. They are both lightweight, they are both good looking, they're both nice and agile. And they're roughly similar size as you've seen from these comparison shots from side by side. They sit similarly in the hand and they're both a comfortable fit and they're interesting in other ways. So one of the ways that Razer's shed weight from the Viper lineup with the V2 Pro is to remove the side grips, the right hand side buttons, the RGB lighting and other things. But what they have done is they've added a textured matte finish to the Viper V2 Pro so it's easy to hold on to and I found it comfortable to use but it also comes with some grip tape in the box the so grip tape that you can apply to both the main buttons and either side of the mouse obviously this will add some extra weight but it makes it easier to hold on to in theory and to grip onto during a gaming session especially if you get hot sweaty or oily fingers now this means that it's shed some weight down and it is actually the lighter of the two mice coming in around 59 or 60 grams depending on what scale is he using and the black one is ever so slightly lighter than the white one as well which is worth bearing in mind if weight is your main concern this is interesting because it means that it's technically 
lighter than the Jeep RX Super Light, which is on paper said to be about 63 grams. I found mine to be marginally lighter, as you can see here. And this is the black version, obviously. But the both very lightweight mice, both very slick and both very easy to throw around on the mouse mat and to move around in a quick way. Now, one of the things you will also notice if you look carefully here is that the G Pro X Superlight has a micro USB charging cable. It too also comes with grip tape. So again, a sort of semi matte finish, but it has grip tape in the box included. So you can add that on if you want some extra grip. And that's an option for both mice. So very comparable, very similar. They both have a wireless dongle. They both have an adapter to get it onto your desk and close to the mouse if necessary, which is great for charging purposes and other things. But the V2 Pro has USB-C charging, so theoretically easier and perhaps a little bit faster in terms of charging, more convenient. And I know a lot of people prefer USB-C to micro USB. So there are a number of features and specs on the Viper V2 Pro which make it superior to the super light. It's easier to plug in, longer battery life, higher specs in terms of acceleration, speed, DPI and other things. And perhaps it's better in a number of ways, but it's also very expensive. And the G Pro X super light is trusted and loved by many. Now I'm gonna leave you with a sound test so you can hear the difference between the two mice. And I will finish this off by saying they're both great. The G Pro X is my preference out of the two. However, technically, the Viper V2 Pro is superior specs wise. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Stick with me to hear the sound differences. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe.